Hi guys and welcome back to the Urban Butchery Channel with me, Franco Machalayo. Now on today's show, I've got something really, really lovely for you and it's a lovely little job. You could do this in your own kitchen if you wanted to, if you wanted to buy one of these from your butcher. And that is how to deborn a hind quarter shin of beef. Very satisfying job to do, quite easy to do as well. So without further ado, bottoms up, heads down, you got it, let's crack on. So we've got a little bit of uh, edge maintenance going on here and a chainmail glove for safety. So the first job on this hind quarter shin is to cut through the Achilles tendon on the back there and then I'm pointing to the bone there and I'm just using the point of my knife just to get inside that membrane between the muscle and the bone. And I'm just working my way around there once you get into that membrane, you can get a really, really clean bone from this. So just around the end there, you get a really good view of it there. Sorry about the head in the way. So I'm just working my way underneath. And now I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just running my knife just across the top of the bone there, just so that I hit that membrane again. You'll see it come into play in a sec. There you go. So I've just connected with where I cut originally on the other side. I'm just working my way around the end of the knuckle bone, then push it out the way. That's fine. So thumbs up for that one by the look of it. So now we're going to move on to actually trimming the shin up. Um, like I said, this is a hind quarter shin. Um, it's also got past the heel muscle left on it which is from the silver side because we require a bit more meat on the shin with this one this is the specification so i'm just taking out that uh, tendon there obviously not very edible that now i'm sort of looking for what they call a needle bone inside of there i'm feeling for it it's not always there sometimes it is sometimes it's not it can be a bit dangerous and if you're slicing through you won't be able to slice through the shin if it's in so just in case, I've just removed that piece anyway. So I'm just removing this excess fat. I know I'm pointing to the end, so I'm just going to square that end up, which has also got sinews and bits of tendons in the end there. As you see, nice straight cut. And same at the top there. That'll go for manufacturing. So now I've turned it over, and now you can get a good view of the heel muscle there and the fat underneath it that I'm just removing. A bit more excess fat that I wasn't very happy with. And there we have it guys, what a beautiful bit of shin that is. Very versatile, great for slow cooking, for stews, casseroles. Get some from your butcher, try it, it's really tasty. So here we go with the marabon. So you're getting two videos in one here. What a bargain. So I'm just going to show you how to cut this marabon up. We're going to cut it into three pieces. So we've got the knuckle end. We've also got the middle part of the marabon, which is the most popular. And then we've got the Achilles tendon end. So I'm just putting a bit of paper down there. Just give me a little bit of uh, traction on the butcher's block. And then we'll start to saw the knuckle end off. So when you're sawing, you sort of try and use all the blade, or as much as of the blade as you possibly can. And you'll notice that I'm not going to saw it all the way off. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to saw the other end now, and that will give me stability. There is another way of doing this, where you actually leave this bone attached to the top of beef, and saw it that way, which gives you a great deal of stability and I'll show you that in a later video. So I'm just sawing the other end now and I'll saw this all the way through. There we go and then we'll just finish off the other end and that's how to saw a marabon. I know it probably sounds a little simple but I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that's never seen it or never done it and maybe they will do it after this. Let's hope so. So there you go guys, 
how to saw a mirror ball. So, I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed doing it. If you did, then press the subscribe button. Uh, also press the bell icon. And I'll catch you next time on the Urban Butchery Channel. Skills for life. <laughs>